Do you know that every year around the world between 500 billion and 1 trillion plastic bags are used? That's a lot of plastic! But where does it come from? Plastic is created from fossil fuels. Coal, natural gas, and oil, those are non-renewable resources. By non-renewable, we mean things that are available in limited supplies and take a long time to replenish, or in some cases, can't be replenished at all. Renewable resources can be replaced naturally if managed properly, like water, wood, solar, and wind energy. As plastic bags are made from non-renewable resources, it's important that we manage them carefully and don't lose them as garbage. Even better is to make a bag and use it over and over to avoid the need to make a new one. To make a plastic bag, a machine is used to heat plastic to a temperature of about 260 degrees Celsius, and the plastic is pushed into a machine that determines the thickness that the bag will have. After this happens, the plastic film is pushed into a bubble by the outside air and through a cooling process. The film is cut into the appropriate size and then placed onto a spindle. Once the plastic is placed onto the spindle, it's unwrapped and cut with a heated knife that also seals each of the sides together. Handles are cut out using a heat process, and logos, designs, and text are added to the bag. Thousands of bags can be produced in a minute. Bags collected by many stores and curbside recycling programs are sent to a warehouse and put on conveyor belts. Then, they are washed in big tanks to make sure any leftover materials that were in the bags, things like food or paper, are removed. Once the plastic is clean, it's melted, dried, and chopped into pellets. The pellets are then finely chopped into even smaller sizes to make sure they are all the same size and shape. Then, they are sent to companies that specialize in making products made from recycled plastic. What are some of the products that can be made from recycled plastic? Plastic lumber that can be used to make chairs and playground equipment. T-shirts and sweaters, flower pots, and of course, plastic bags can be recycled into plastic bags! Even though it's good to recycle, it's even better to reduce and reuse. In fact, the three R's are in order of importance. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce means avoiding the need to use an item in the first place. When you go to the store to buy one item and consider carrying it out without a bag, you're reducing. This is the best for the environment because a plastic bag didn't need to be created in the first place. There is nothing to throw out or have recycled. That saves energy and resources and keeps us from having to make plastic bags at all. When you reuse a plastic bag, you give it many lives and get to use it again as many times as you want. It also means we don't have to go through the process of creating new bags or collect them for recycling. Recycling is setting an item to be recreated into something new when you have no use for it anymore. That's why if you can't reduce or reuse, it's important that your plastic bags are properly recycled. In doing so, we also protect the environment by making sure plastic bags don't end up in the garbage or the oceans where they can never be reused or recycled. So remember to help your planet by always using the three R's. Reduce, reuse, recycle.